When Boeing announced the 787 Dreamliner, aviation enthusiasts around the world waited in eager anticipation. This wasn't just another aircraft. It was a revolutionary step forward in aerodynamics, structural design, and onboard experience. Now that the 787 has been in commercial operation for some time, it's time to take a deep dive into what makes the Dreamliner so special. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The cabin is famously built with over 50% composite materials, chiefly carbon fiber reinforced plastic, which is a departure from traditional aluminum construction and offers several benefits. Composites are lighter than aluminum, contributing to the 787's fuel efficiency. Carbon fiber is remarkably strong and is more resistant to corrosion than aluminum, leading to lower maintenance costs over time. The wings are noticeably more flexible than those on older aircraft, which can help reduce the forces experienced by the aircraft during turbulence. One of the immediate benefits of using composite materials is the possibility of higher cabin pressurization. Traditional aircraft cabins are pressurized to simulate an altitude of around 8,000 feet. In the 787, Boeing has reduced this to 6,000 feet, which means passengers should experience fewer symptoms associated with altitude, such as headaches and fatigue. It's a subtle change, but one that frequent flyers will surely appreciate. Another challenge with aluminum aircraft is moisture. In traditional aircraft, adding humidity can promote corrosion. But with the 787's composite structure, Boeing introduced a cabin air system that can maintain relative humidity levels around 15%, nearly double that in older models, which reduces the dryness passengers often feel during long flights. One of the most striking features when you step into the Dreamliner is the windows. They're 65% larger than those in comparable aircraft, which not only provides passengers with better views, but also brings more natural light into the cabin, creating a more spacious feel. Additionally, the 787 ditches traditional window shades in favor of electrochromic dimming. At the push of a button, passengers can adjust the opacity of the window, letting in as much or as little light as they wish. The Dreamliner's engines are designed to be as quiet as possible. Furthermore, Boeing implemented noise-reducing chevrons at the rear of the engine nacelles and added more sound insulation in the cabin. The result? A noticeably quieter cabin, allowing passengers to arrive more refreshed or enjoy the onboard entertainment without cranking up the volume. The 787 also boasts LED mood lighting, which airlines can adjust to simulate various times of day or to create specific ambiances during flight. This is more than just a cool visual feature. When properly adjusted, the lighting can help reduce jet lag by aligning with passengers' circadian rhythms. The cockpit is designed to minimize pilot fatigue as much as possible, a crucial consideration for an aircraft meant for long-haul routes. The layout is intuitive with essential systems positioned within easy reach. Multifunction displays, illuminated panels, and touchscreen access meld to form a cockpit that's both futuristic and functional. One of the standout features is the five large, interchangeable 15-inch LCD screens that dominate the cockpit's front panel, which provide pilots with flight data, navigation routes, system diagnostics, and more. Their interchangeable nature means if one screen fails, its data can be swiftly moved to another ensuring no critical information is lost mid-flight. The HUD in the 787 is a technological masterpiece. It projects vital flight data onto a transparent screen in the pilot's forward line of sight, allowing them to access information without diverting their gaze from the outside world, which enhances situational awareness and can be crucial during challenging phases of flight, like approach and landing in inclement weather. The FMS is an avionics epicenter that seamlessly integrates inputs from various systems, aiding pilots in optimal flight planning, fuel conservation, and efficient route adjustments in response to dynamic factors like weather or air traffic constraints. Gone are the days of paper charts and manuals. The Dreamliner boasts a fully integrated EFB, allowing pilots to access charts, performance data, and operational manuals digitally, which not only reduces weight but ensures that the latest data and procedures are always at hand. The centralized maintenance system of the 787 continuously monitors the health of various aircraft components. From engines to hydraulics, 
If there's an anomaly, it's flagged immediately, which allows for proactive maintenance and reduced downtime. The Dreamliner also employs an advanced fly-by-wire system, meaning pilots interface with electronic controls rather than direct mechanical connections. This system processes pilot inputs, cross-references them with aircraft status, and then actuates control surfaces for optimal performance. It can smooth out turbulence, aid in fuel efficiency, and provide an overall enhanced flight experience. The 787 is also equipped with the latest in SATCOM, enabling real-time communication even over remote oceanic routes. In tandem with contemporary air traffic management systems, it ensures the Dreamliner can adjust its route dynamically, avoiding weather disruptions and optimizing flight paths. Safety remains paramount in the 787, and the EGPWS is a testament to this commitment. It uses precise topographical data and aircraft metrics to warn pilots of potential ground collisions. Whether it's mountainous terrain or an inadvertent descent, the system provides timely alerts. In a departure from traditional knobs and switches, the 787 incorporates dual heads-down touchscreens. These offer a more intuitive interface for systems management, reducing pilot workload and streamlining cockpit operations. Now let's talk its engine and performance specifications. The aircraft primarily flies with one of two powerhouses, depending on the airline's choice, the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 or the General Electric Jenks 1B. Both are exemplary high-bypass turbofans designed for the rigors of long-haul travel, emphasizing fuel efficiency and reduced noise output. The Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 is a culmination of decades of jet propulsion research. With its thrust spanning from 53,000 pounds at the lower end to a powerful 78,000 pounds at its peak, the engine embodies sheer might. Its expansive fan, which measures a remarkable 112 inches or 2.85 meters in diameter, is not just about size. It's about achieving a bypass ratio of approximately 10 to 1, channeling a significant portion of intake air around the combustion chamber to enhance thrust efficiency and minimize acoustic footprints. Its counterpart, the General Electric Jenks 1B, holds its ground with a compelling thrust spectrum ranging from 53,200 pounds to a substantial 76,100 pounds. The fan diameter here is an impressive 111.1 inches or 2.82 meters, supporting a bypass ratio nearing 9 to 1, ensuring that the Jenks 1B is no slouch when it comes to fuel efficiency and noise reduction. Aircraft performance is not merely about thrust. The Dreamliner achieves a cruising speed of Mach 0.85, translating to approximately 650 miles per hour or 1,046 kilometers per hour, allowing it to bridge continents with grace and speed. Range is where the Dreamliner truly shines, a crucial aspect for its long-haul aspirations. The base model, the 787-8, offers airlines a staggering reach of 7,530 nautical miles or 13,950 kilometers. The extended 787-9 variant matches this, while the larger 787-10, catering to a heftier passenger load, promises a commendable range of 6,345 nautical miles or 11,750 kilometers. Of course, one cannot discuss performance without addressing the Dreamliner's ability to soar. The aircraft ascends to a maximum service ceiling of 43,000 feet or 13,100 meters, which allows it to cruise above most turbulent weather patterns, ensuring a smoother journey for those on board. For pilots, two crucial performance metrics stand out, takeoff and landing distances. With its powerful engines, advanced wing design, and lightweight composite structure, the 787-8 needs roughly 8,500 feet or 2,590 meters of runway to achieve takeoff at maximum weight. This ensures the Dreamliner's compatibility with a diverse range of global airports, be they sprawling international hubs or constrained city airports. Landing sees the Dreamliner requiring approximately 7,500 feet or 2,300 meters when considering typical landing weights and standard conditions, which ensures that even airports with shorter runways remain accessible to this marvel of modern aviation. Additionally, the Dreamliner's payload, 
a reflection of its cargo and passenger carrying prowess, further cements its position as a long-haul stalwart. The aircraft can comfortably handle a payload nearing 118,000 pounds or 53,500 kilograms, allowing airlines considerable flexibility in passenger, cargo, and fuel loads. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Boeing 787-8 is $250 million and $300 million for a new Boeing 7879 before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.